This is Stephen Kennard, and you're watching GR News. I am Stephen Kennard with GR News, and these are your headlines. Innovative card-based zombie survival party game Dead Till Dawn reaches and surpasses its Kickstarter goal. A Kickstarter tabletop game we here at GR News have had our eye on for quite some time has reached the Kickstarter goal of $7,500. And as of this newscast, it has also broken through their $8,000 stretch goal. By Steve Cave and Cave Wolf Games, players attempt to win by outlasting the other players. The game's big twist is you don't need to be alive to win the game. Check out the YouTube channel Dead Till Dawn to learn more about this amazing game. Counter-Strike co-creator arrested. Jess Cliff, one of the creatives behind the massively popular shooter Counter-Strike, was arrested last week for sexual exploitation of a child. As reported by local Seattle news station Cairo 7, details as of this newscast state that Cliff has not been charged with a crime. He did have a bail hearing on Friday, February 2nd. Valve, the developer of Counter-Strike, has released a statement indicating that Cliff has been suspended while the company investigates. While it's still unclear from Cairo 7's report what led to Cliff's arrest, local prosecutors have expressed that arrests of this type typically indicates creating child pornography. Far Cry 5's DLC Season Pass details sound weird, but in a good way. Info on the contents of Ubisoft's Far Cry 5's Season Pass have been revealed. Aliens, zombies, Viet Cong soldiers, oh my! All with the Far Cry twist. But that's not all. Those who choose to purchase the $30 Season Pass also receive Far Cry 3, packed with smooth HD upgraded visuals. Far Cry 5 releases on March 27th. For continuing info on these stories and more, like, comment, subscribe to Gamer Redefined. This has been Stephen Kennard with GR News. This is Stephen Kennard and you're watching GR News.